on a lutté, on s'est combattu, on se demande encore pourquoi. On a dit qu'après la guerre, on a fait des relevés de terre et qu'il y avait un tiers de ferraille, de matériel de guerre, un tiers de bonne terre, de la vraie terre, et un tiers de déchets humains, de chair humaine. There are millions of shells who fall in the first war, and maybe 20% of all the shells don't blow up. The men uh, have found maybe uh, several shells in different places in the village, so we go to pick up the shells. It must be very dangerous. Every shell can be dangerous. It's a change a little bit inside. Uh, it can be most dangerous, but if you don't uh, make the shells in the fire, if you don't want to open it, normally nothing happens. The village is Vaudoncourt. It's a very little village. Ah, c'est vraiment bien. C'est vraiment bien de pas en mettre. Ah ouais. C'est vraiment bien de pas en mettre. Ah bah c'est bon, la fusée n'y est plus. It's a 70 cm, a mortar, German mortar, not the biggest one, but 17 cm mortar from German. Some people collected that. And we have two accidents with that one, minimum two accidents I know in us area. The last young man who blew up in Verda, he collected a lot of shells and he wants here to pick up the explosive inside and he take a little piece maybe iron and I'm not sure iron on a piece of wood and he begins here to dig up the explosive and the poor young man was killed. Here you have a shell, a German shell, a 7.7. You see the difference? Here it was broken with the explosive inside. Here it was completely, no fuse on, on it. Here is something particularly. That's French material. This form is special for chemical shells. In France, when you have that one, you are sure that's chemical. You must just know there are no more than 2% chemical shells was used. So it's not very much. Right. And generally, in one year, we make uh, between maybe 40 or 50 tons shells. Shells beginning by two centimeters, and after you have no limit. Maybe the biggest shells uh, who German build are um, nearly uh, 80 centimeters. Alors, euh, en retournant des, des prés pour semer du maïs, euh, rien que de retourner, les, les obus sont coincés sous la végétation finalement. En retournant, ils se retrouvent sur, sur la surface de la terre. Et puis, euh, bah, avant de travailler des outils rotatifs, on les ramasse pour pas que ça explose dans le outil. C'est le That's C'est le German. C'est le one. C'est le German. C'est le one. C'est le German. C'est le German. C'est le C'est le German. C'est le C'est le French. One. Quand parents en parlaient souvent, euh, la guerre, ça les avait marqués. Quoi. Et quand on était petit, ben vraiment, ça s'intéressait. C'est l'histoire du grand-père. Ouais. Ouais. 